Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing something that I've never really done before, and that is build a custom boat, specifically a yacht for the private island here. This yacht is going to have to be multifunctional because it has to have the ability to transport the massive Speed Champion cars. So I've been working for about 45 minutes and this is what I've come up with. <laughs> Angles are hard. I don't have like an unlimited amount of these. If I had a bunch of these, then I'd be able to use these plates and easily create a boat front. Like the front is difficult to make because it has to be an angle, right? And then I was playing around with curved slopes. I actually came up with something that looked pretty good. There we go. I just rebuilt it for you. I just used some of these large curved slopes and then a two by two curved slope. And you know, the angle looks really good coming toward the nose of the ship there. Now, my issue is, is the size. I don't want this boat to be longer than 32 studs, right? So I've only got three or four more studs to try and get this nose to come together there. So I was having a hard time keeping it within that size because of course I could just keep tapering it like this here using more of these elements and then it's pretty awesome, right? Then I could just stack two or three of these on top of each other and then you'd have this nicely shaped boat. But then it's way bigger than 32 studs and it won't fit in the spot that I have for it there in the island. Then I was like, okay, maybe I can shorten the back end of it. But then I took my Speed Champions car and I put my car there and it's like, yeah, it sort of needs to be this big. It needs to use the 16 by 16 plate. I need to have the width of it like that there because I want to have some sort of staircase and of course like a living spot on top of the yacht right over top of the car there's just a spot where you pull in the car and then you can make your way up stairs on the boat and drive the boat and live right it's a luxury yacht and a car transport so it's like ah like it sort of has to be large like this especially if I use these pieces to taper it in like that there to the nose because I can't really just have it come to a blunt end that doesn't really work either, right? So I've been trying all these different angles and stuff. I got something that looks good. Ultimately, it would be easier to just build it using these. There is an old three-in-one boat that uses all those. I was looking at Lego Ferries. I believe it's called a Lego three-in-one ferry. It uses a whole whack of these, but I have like five. <laughs> That's it. And then all the others are in other miscellaneous colors, but you don't want a multicolored boat. Ah, so I was like drawing blanks. I didn't know how I was going to create this boat using the parts that I have. I wanted the boat to be white, so I was digging through my white drawer trying to find all these different interesting pieces. But in the end, I just couldn't find enough of a specific piece type to build it how I want it to look. Then it dawned on me that I have this old classic pirate ship hull. And I was like, okay, maybe I can use that. And I was like, oh my gosh, that looks sort of weird. I don't want to add blue. And then it sort of looks like a pirate ship. So I was like, where am I going to get pieces? I answered that question pretty quickly <laughs> by essentially destroying the party boat. It has a bunch of these and essentially this here, which is going to be extremely helpful when it comes to building this boat. So it's officially a party boat parts pack. <laughs> I'm going to use the parts from the party boat and sort of retailer this here into my yacht. Looks sort of funny, doesn't it? It's really wide at the back because that's to accommodate the big vehicle and there has to be space to exit said vehicle. And then it gets narrower at the front because those are pre-molded pieces, of course. Yeah, so it looks sort of strange. I guess the better boat pieces to use would be the ones from here. This is more like a yacht, isn't it? The Dolphin Rescue Mission Boat. Oh, I don't know if I want to part out two things to make one giant yacht but this thing definitely looks like it's a better part pack this boat remains intact although i am tempted to use it oh that would be awesome uh this is what i've got going on so far it's a bit black and white but we're going to add some more color to it and i've got some ideas to improve it but the staircase has to be at the front of the boat because there's not enough space at the back and on either side so i decided that Minifigs can come up here and then walk up to the top deck over here. Originally, I thought it was going to be a little bit more elaborate. There's going to be multiple decks, but I think there's just going to be the two decks. Uh, I put some windows here. And this uh, back gate here, which will just open up like that. A couple of hinge bricks there, and then the vehicle can drive out. 
or park. And I also tiled off the deck there. So there's like a driveway there in dark gray and then white on the sides. And the vehicle fits pretty nicely in there. And clips just like that. It'd be cool if I had limited parts because if I had like these wedge bricks, I could build like an insane boat, which would be probably shaped a little bit better. But I need like, you know, 30, 40, 50 of these wedge bricks in different colors. Once again, that uh, fairy three in one set sort of inspired by that. I've got some more ideas to improve it, but this is just sort of midway through here building my first ever yacht that transports Speed Champion cars. The next thing I did was just not mount some black tiles above and below those windows, and that matches the black tiles running down the side there. You can also see I mounted these slopes earlier as well, which looks pretty good. I like those large curved slopes, gives the boat a nice shape. And I actually found those in the pad wall not too long ago. You feeling me, Mickey Mouse? You feeling me, buddy? I think you are. <laughs> I might have to add a third color. I just finished building, we're going to call it the Dalmatian. And be warned, everybody, it's not the best yacht in the world. I'm not, like, 100% happy with it. But I'm not upset with it either. Like, I, I don't think it's that bad, considering I built it using just parts of my inventory and of course that party boat there as well i think a yacht is something that probably should be done on like a digital designer or just like really thought about and the parts should be ordered specifically to build it but i don't think the dalmatian looks overly terrible <laughs> that's what i'll classify it as not overly terrible here she is so it's got a detailed interior, but first I want to show you the exterior here. Uh, so you saw what I did before, right? We've got those snot-mounted bricks above and below the windows, the nice curved slopes here. This is all tiled off. I add a nice long slope there. This back gate can be opened up right there so the vehicles can pull out. Now you can see it's actually inverted, or sorry, uh, curved slopes that go up here. That's because that perfectly aligns with the dock the mansion. I'll show you that in one moment. Changed up the car because the Cohen seg was rather white and black and the build was white and black. I also added a new color. I went with light gray. That's because I only had these pieces here in light gray and I really wanted to use those wedge bricks just because I think those were necessary. And this used to be brown here. I changed it to match the light gray. You can see I used some windows and some cylinders there is a bunch of furniture inside that's sort of blocking the windows i guess maybe i didn't need to put windows there but i wanted it to have windows rather than solid walls i really struggled with the handrail leading up to the stairs but then i found these dark tan modified one by two rounded plates and i was like ooh, i know those can make a pretty cool shape like you can build bridges with those and they can curve really nicely because they're rounded so I decided to use those and it made a nice shape perfect for our rail there. Also, I added uh, front to the boat there using some inverted slopes and one large uh, one by four slope in uh, black. And look what's on top of that there. It's a little car there, right? Yeah, the Dalmatian is a car transporter. So I figured I'd add a gold roller skate to uh, represent a car. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these open studs in here. There's some weird angles and stuff in there or like not really angles but just like weird open space that i need to like smooth out with slopes and maybe add some more detail down there i don't really know what to do with that space there sort of drawing a blank at this time the staircase leads up to the second floor and we've got our roof i added a skylight right there it's black and then i didn't have any of the corner slopes in white so i changed those to black but I think it frames that skylight pretty nicely there. And I didn't go with a trans clear window. I went with a translucent or transparent blue window in that uh, window frame there. And then right here is a little radar sensor. Yeah. And the uh, windows cased by those one by one cylinders in the light gray. And then this curved windscreen right here. Then the captain can see through pretty much from all sides. And I wanted to use this. It's not mounted sideways into this pillar here. I just thought that was a really neat piece. I found it in my inventory. I was like, ooh, 
I need to find a way to use that. And then of course this roof here can pop off to reveal all the interior details. So as you saw earlier, I tiled off the back in dark gray and then white. And I still need to take care of all those studs in the front there like I was just saying. But this is the interior details for the top. Once again, tiled off the floor, dark tan and that blue color there. And then the front of the ship where we have the captain's seat is a light gray. Little refrigerator there and a cabinet. Wanted to make it a double refrigerator, but I couldn't find another one of those white uh, was it two by three doors and then I took these from the party boat these big speakers and I made these uh, couches or benches on either side customized them using some uh, brackets and tan and then also ingots and some curved slopes and some one by one plates and some one sorry two four by four plates I'll take one of them out here let's see it should just pop out just like that and you can sort of see the build there Fairly straightforward, there's the brackets. Oh, I forgot to put cheese wedges on the bottom of that one. I put cheese wedges to tidy up those studs on this one. Just a pretty neat looking bench or couch. Then the captain has a really cool chair here that can swivel, of course, a little bit there. And it just takes the chair piece and frames it nicely. Gives it some armrests and a bigger backrest. And then he's got a little radar sensor there, steering wheel, and a throttle. So when the Dalmatian <laughs> is uh, lined up to the uh, driveway here, you can pull these open and it lines up perfectly. And then the cars can just drive on like that there. And then we close that up and away we go. So yeah, I mean, it's my first time building a boat of any sort. I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, it's not bad. It's not the worst thing. It's not the best thing. Am I proud of it? Eh, maybe. <laughs> maybe a little bit. Because I think the fact that it can fit eight wide speed champion cars made it rather difficult just because it had to be that exact shape. And it forced like the staircase to the front of the boat. And it just made the back end of it really wide, right? So just the constraints of that and the constraints of parts, and the constraint of never, ever building a custom boat before. But hey, I think I did pretty good. Like that sort of chip ticks the box, if you will, uh, for transporting speed champion cars. So there we go. That's the Dalmatian, everybody. I'm sure we'll see some improvements in the near future. Still got to customize this dock here, tile off all this water, and sort of semi-submerge it in the water as well. But that's another thing that I did. Is I didn't make it like a rounded bottom. So it almost looks submerged when it's just sitting there because it's a flat bottom. So yeah, I sort of had that in mind as well. There we go. The Dalmatian ready to service the Speed Champions private island. Let me know what you think of it. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.